All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. It's been a while since I've done a video. Man, and am I out of practice. I will honestly tell you that this is probably the fifth take of this video that I've done. And one, because, uh, well, the difficulty of reading a bill is it's written on new, uh, gov or dot gov or whatever the hell it is that they put their stuff out on. Well, in any case, uh, I haven't done a video in quite a while just because I've been busy. Work is killing me. But we're going to get back into it. I keep saying that, but, you know, we're doing it in spurts when time allows. Uh, we've got a lot of reviews coming out here very shortly, a lot of optics that we're going to be doing, uh, taking those to the range and trying to make those things work out. One of the things that I wanted to tell you, uh, I'm really depressed with what's going on in this country. And I guess if you're watching this video, you probably are as well. It's uh, basically... Uh, a situation that is just completely screwed up as far as I'm concerned when you have an administration that thinks that the economy is doing great or you know they're going to give away free money and buying votes and get an open border allowing anybody and everybody to come across the border it's just we're a laughing stock of the world and it's a shame it really is um, so what's the deal here uh, this video and before we get started into it I really want to ask you uh, it's about the uh, House Resolution 8118, uh, Aaron Salter Jr. Responsible Body Armor Possession Act. And basically what it is is a ban on body armor. Before you, I get into what my reasons are, I want you to take a minute real quickly and put in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on this thing when I read this. Okay, what is it? It's basically it's an act to prohibit the purchase, ownership, or possession of enhanced body armor by civilians with exceptions. And the exceptions is basically law enforcement. Um, so essentially what we've got is, and this was introduced back in 2019 by Ms. Ming, Grace Ming of uh, New York. And, it, and most notably, I'm sitting here looking at uh, that Johnson guy from Georgia, you know, the one that thought Guam was going to tip over if we put too many people there. Essentially, these are idiots. This is, they're voted in by people. I don't know what the hell to do. I don't know why they do it, but they're idiots. Uh, a bill to prohibit the purchase, ownership, or possession of enhanced body armor by civilians with exceptions. And except as provided in a subsection, it shall be unlawful for a person to purchase, own, or possess enhanced body armor. Subsections shall not apply to the purchase, ownership, or possession under the authority of the United States or any department or agency of the United States. So basically what you're saying, law enforcement. Uh, in this section, the term covered law enforcement has the meaning given to term qualified law enforcement also to include corrections officers. Uh, yeah. So what does it do? Ban, ban on purchase, ownership, possession. So there's a deal where they say if you have ownership uh, of it prior to this act, then you're good to go. But when they say in, in possession of... Uh, all right, section 921 of such title is amended by added, adding at the end of the following, the term enhanced body armor means body armor, including a helmet or shield, the ballistics resistance of which meets or exceeds the ballistic performance of type three armor. So basically, this guy right here, all right, uh, what are we doing here? This is a type four, this is level four. So this would be banned the ownership of this guy right here. Uh, also, any shields like this thing right here, okay? And I believe this is a level 3A, which I love this. I keep this by my desk. I, I don't want to ask me why, but I do. Um, <laughs> has an effect at the time of which uh, the possession of armor, such armor. Uh, penalties. It also says such title is amended by adding the, at the end of the following, whoever knowingly violates section 932 shall be fined under this title. Uh, in prison, not more than 10 years or both. So you can be fined and in prison, uh, but don't worry, not more than 10 years. So here's your opportunity. I want you to go ahead and put what the reasons you think that the federal government wants to put this in. And now I'm, while you're doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think. Well, do you remember the old uh, picture where Uncle Sam wants you? So basically now it's kind of like picture Uncle Sam dressed up as like a bunch of fucking idiots pointing a gun at you because what he wants to do now is he wants to be able to take you out. Yeah, that's right, folks. People don't want you to be able to passively, passively, this this thing does not do anything to harm anyway. You can throw at somebody, hit them in the head, but you can do that with a hammer. But they don't want you to have the ability to protect yourself in case they want to take you out. And that's disgusting in my book. It's absolutely wrong, totally wrong. 
Huh, man, I can't even begin to think of why they would, they, they would even come up with it. Well, I know why. Because these kids and mass shooters going out and they got body armor on. Um, I was reading the Daily Gazette. I don't even know. I was just called the Daily Gazette. And so basically uh, talking about the bill that uh, the governor up there in New York. And we're going to do a whole video on New York, man, because that is a total cluster screwed up deal they've got going on up there. And basically, I'm not telling you something you probably don't already know, but I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are on it. Um, and in this thing, it, the Daily Gazette, they actually make this statement. This is, you know, people who write for a rag that said they've gone too far with this this bill. So essentially, uh, it states in Daily Gazette, people of sound mind and good character with no history of violence or threatening behavior should be able to register and purchase bulletproof vest. What the hell are they talking about registering? You should, so next thing you know, what you want, they want, oh, so they can tax you on it. They can register it. Is there, is there a register fee for creating or wearing body armor? All in all, guys, this is a pretty sick bill. This is uh, basically saying to you that we want to take you out when we, when we want to. And the only people that are allowed to have body armor are military, police, and corrections officers. And anybody who is engaged in the lawful act. And next thing you know, IRS is going to be taxing you on your on your on your body armor. It's disgusting. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, we're going to be jumping back into this whole thing. I'm getting the energy back. It feels good. Health is good for those out there asking. We've got the th Memorial 3 gun coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to be camping out. And thanks for one of the guys. Uh, tons of guns and fun, I think. Offered me his hotel room. I, man, I really appreciate that. But part of the adventure is uh, facing some of the things that we did uh, and we're going to do down the road. So this is going to be a lot of fun for me. I've got a generator. Uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a whole layout of the campsite when we do that. We've got a big tent. Uh, we've got the awning, the big old canopy shelters. I'm putting a trailer hitch on my car. <laughs> I've got an SUV with a trailer hitch, but this is more fun. And uh, it's, it's just going to be a really good time hanging out with X-Ring and Is Your Six Covered down there and the guys from Microtech, hopefully. So that's it. Um, with that being said, guys, uh, again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and have already done so. And, uh, you know, I usually end them like this. God bless America, which I always will. God bless America. God bless his men and women in uniform. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who uh, will support our Constitution as it was intended by our founding fathers, okay, and mostly military. But the cat showing up down there at Mar-a-Laga, you know you did wrong. That was absolute BS. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. KB32, I am out. Y'all be good. Boom. Oh, I got to hit the stop button. I got a new trigger.